Alt accounts, otherwise known as alternate accounts, have been around far before Overwatch 2, back when you still had to pay for the game. Most players think of alt accounts as something used for smurfing, which is a higher level player playing in lower level lobbies, sometimes for fun, sometimes to play with friends. But there are legitimate and important uses for alt accounts as well. Something that may or may not surprise you is that nearly every professional Overwatch player has an alt account. I actually don't even personally know any players who don't have an alt lying around somewhere. Alt accounts aren't always utilized for nefarious means, and with this video I want to try and convince you to get one as well. The first key point is that alt accounts can be super useful for warming up. I'm going to be completely honest here, you cannot warm up in quick play, or at least not very effectively. Quick play feels and plays entirely different from ranked, so the transition between the two is not going to be seamless. You won't be able to play normally because your teammates and opponents are of much greater SR ranges and are all over the place, not really working together or caring about the result of the game. Warming up in competitive is much better, and I recommend it to most of the players I work with, especially those that struggle with anxiety going into ranked matches. Now, you might think that using an ult to warm up is unethical, but I really don't think so, especially when the MMR on your ult balances out. When you are warming up, you are playing slightly worse than your normal level of play. Therefore, your ult might end up landing a few ranks below your main account. Your goal shouldn't be to warm up by rolling bad players. Your goal should be to rank up your ult as much as possible so your warm up will become more intense and valuable. Speaking of ranking up, I am now partnered with Elo Mastery, where for just $15 a month you can easily access Overwatch League and Contenders coaches such as Spilo, Faustus, and Tensa through coaching calls and Discord chats. Now, I wouldn't support an organization, especially in the coaching realm, if I believed they didn't know what they were doing, and I believe Elo Mastery is the best coaching service out there. Most coaches have rates up to $25 or $30 an hour, but you can access several coaches on the daily for a whole month for just $15. You can use the code OC10 for 10% off your first month. Back to it with the second way I see plenty of players use ults, that being to practice certain heroes. When Overwatch 2 came out, I wanted to learn Doomfist. The problem was that Doomfist's playstyle differed greatly from anything I had played in the past. So trying to run him in my GM games was unrealistic for me at the time, and I would just be throwing. So I made an alt account to work on him, and I made it to GM5 one-tricking Doomfist. I believe that this is a perfectly reasonable way to use alt accounts and something any player can and should use to their full capabilities. If you are a diamond tank player and you are great with Ramatra and Zarya, but your Winston is gold level, then it's okay to have an alt in gold where you work on it. If you get better, your rank goes up on the alt. It's not smurfing because you are working on something you are bad at and your lower rank reflects that. If you were to play your best heroes, Ramatra and Zarya, that wouldn't benefit you anyways, so there's no point unless you want to give yourself an ego boost. There's one more way I see players use alt accounts, and that's just to remove the pressure from the game. Sometimes it's nice to play your main role, in ranked, without stressing over your rank. This removal of stress will actually sometimes result in players peaking higher on their alt than their main account. I've heard plenty of low elo players claim that their main account is an elo hell because they managed to get a higher rank on their ult, but really they just had way more confidence while playing on their ult. So keep this factor in mind when playing on your main as well. Try to keep relaxed and be okay with losing some of your games. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what your opinion is on ult accounts and if they are ethical or not. And also, make sure to share this video with those that might need it. I appreciate all of you, whether you're scrimmers or just ranked players, and good luck on the grind.